guys, and welcome back. Today, we're going to be getting a little bit uh, evil and crazy powerful with uh, this lovely mod, Mahoy Sky. So, I hope you guys are ready. Hey guys, Future Chosen here. Just wanted to let you guys know if you are a Patreon to be sure to get your world download as it will be available for any Patreon of any tier. Any tier! That's that's right. So, anyways, um, um let's... Let's get on with today's video. So today we're diving back into some more Mahoy to Sky. And uh, well, you know, since we're pretty much like almost invincible, I mean, we might as well make a sword that kind of competes with that, right? That uh, a sword that we can level up and increase and and literally make as powerful as possible. Well, there, there is more than more, one sword from this mod, but that is just a few things. Notice that my uh, my hoy as uh, is quite high. It's up to two thousands now, and that's just for me kind of idling as this runs because this is slowly, as I say, it is slowly using mana and also generating mana at the same time, which is kind of crazy. Um, so what I'm going to do is we are going to work on the Mahoy to Sky. We're going to work on uh, some of the stuff. By the way, I'm I'm saving phantoms because I actually need to kill them. I need phantom membranes for stuff. There we go. Okay. Um, which I guess I could just spawn them in, right? Uh, but anyways, we have to make an island. Uh, there is a spell in here that is going to allow us to make a island. And uh, that island is thus going to uh, allow us to throw a sword in and get ourselves a nice holy sword. In which we are going to taint. Uh, yes, we are going to take a holy sword and we are going to make it evil. Um... So, what is the name of that, uh, that one? I believe it is over here. Yes. Power Consolidation. Um, that is going to be, uh, Diamond, Diamond, and Emerald. Now, keep in mind where you place this, because this is going to use, um, a, a little bit of mana to create, but it does create quite a large pull, and it is going to generate an actual lake. So, keep in mind... This thing is quite large. Like, it's it's bigger than a 9x9, I believe. Um, and I think you can get rid of it. I think it's definitely... I think you're able to get rid of it. I'm going to try my best and place it, like, right in the center of this island. However, I know it's going to be bigger than this island. It's not going to be bigger than this island, but it is going to um, take up quite a bit of space. I think this is the center. I'm kind of eyeballing it, and I feel like this is the center. Okay, so on this dirt... What we need to do is we need to go into this mod, grab our dagger, we need diamond dust, and what else was there? It was diamond dust and one emerald, and then activate it. Um, now this will create some fog, um, and I don't know if you just get, if you get rid of the island, if that will remove the fog. I hope so, um, but we're going to find out. So. Um, after we have this, we have, we need our emerald, so two diamond and an emerald, and let's go ahead and do this. Okay, so here we go. All I gotta do is place this in, two diamond, emerald, and then I need to be ready, because, as you can see, it's starting to generate this. I didn't have to right click it or anything, so once you do it, be ready, because it's gonna start making this. Now... As you can see, it is full, and if we look at the bottom, it did generate a large pool at the bottom. So, you don't have to worry about it spilling out anywhere. It is going to create this pool. Now, what do we do with this? Well, we are going to take some, uh, we're going to take a diamond sword that has holy enchants on it. And what I, I believe what it means by holy is smite. Um, so, if it has a high, the higher the uh, smite enchant on it, the, uh, the, better, the, the better this sword is going to be uh, by default. However, I don't know how much that affects the fact that it's going to be a Morgan sword later down the road. Um, so, let's go ahead and get a diamond sword. And I guess we can just start enchanting this bad boy and see what we can't come up with. I mean, I guess the max enchant would probably be, you know, smite five, right? So, I mean, I'm, I'm just going to, I guess, prepare this thing up to smite five. That only makes sense, right? So, I now have two swords with smite on both of them. That's going to give me smite five. However, it does have other enchants. Those are not uh, going to matter as much as, I believe, having uh, this Smite 5 on here. Um, but I do need 5,000 mana 
uh, because it's going to take 5,000 mana when I throw this sword in. And then I need to go fishing for it. So throw the sword in, and you can see the sword in the lake. And now we need to go down and search for it. Which it should be down here somewhere. And honestly, we might... Our magnet? No, I don't think our magnet is going to help us any. It is so dark, isn't it? <laughs> it's so dark! And you can see it did use up our... Our mana. I gotta keep... I gotta keep hunting for this thing. It's down here somewhere. Oh! We just got it. And... We now have... A Caliburn. So, this sword on its own is actually pretty powerful. Um, now, don't, uh, don't hate on it. <laughs> Even though we're turning into a Morgan, this thing's pretty nice on its own. Um, it looks like it already has some durability hit on it, which is kind of interesting. Okay, so yeah, this sword on its own, I believe, you can uh, basically um, block. I believe you can block stuff. It does tell you a little bit in the book about exactly what it does. Okay, okay, so yeah, I was telling you wrong. I believe that's the other sword that I'm talking about. Um, this one, yeah, will repel mobs, and then you can smite mobs with it, with the uh, keybind that we set, the same one that we use to place down our little blood circle. Um, that's the same one. And then the, you can enchant it, again, I'm assuming with smite, throw it back in, it'll cost 5,000 again, and then you'll have an upgraded version of this. So that's something that we could definitely try. We totally have enough to do it. I don't know how much that actually increases it, but it's definitely worth trying out. Like, uh, see if we can't put like smite on here. Bane of villagers and stuff. I'm not like, yeah, no. Basically, I'm going through. I'm waiting till we get smite, <laughs> and then I'll try it again. Uh, we can, of course, always. We should always be able to turn it back into a Morgan. Like that should be something that is available to us. For example, here's Smite 4. Let's let's go ahead and try Smite 4. I know Smite 5 is definitely the best, but we're not probably gonna roll a Smite 5 um, without having two swords. So we definitely have enough to be able to drop this in again. So we drop it in again. All of our Mahoy that was on, on us definitely disappeared, which means it is down here again. And if you remember the stats on it, it I believe it had like 10 attack damage, which is not bad. But that's definitely not what we're going for. Um, there it is. See, it kind of like sits there. It's so kind of so cool. All right, and it went up to twelve, so it went up by two. But it costs five thousand each time, and you have to enchant it. Now, there's another way we can increase the stats on our sword, and uh, from this mod, which is kind of awful. At the same time, it's pretty cool, and that is to kill villagers. However, this sword doesn't want to kill villagers. This sword loves loves things it's a it's a godly sword it's a it's a a holy sword um we need to taint it a little bit and i believe we have to kill a friend of ours so for this we're gonna need some wolf bait and uh well we need to get out of the area <laughs> i don't know if this is gonna spawn a baby wolf it probably is um but we're gonna use this baby wolf to make it our friend and then slay it Yes, this is how this is how we taint this sword. I know it is absolutely awful, but it must happen. Here it is. Where did it go? We have a doggo somewhere. Where the where the dog the the doggo's here? I just don't know where it's at. It's a little cute puppy. I don't, however, think we can we can't slaughter a puppy. Like that would be like going too far, right? Like just just too far. So I do need some bone. Um, and I believe I can help grow. Oh, we can, we can tame them as a puppy. No, we shouldn't. We shouldn't. C come on. You wanted me to. You actually thought I was going to do that. You monster. You know, before I do slaughter this little thing, it's only got like 13 seconds left. What, what do you look? Oh my God. You were tiny. You're adorable. We should do it at this size. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, you're getting wrecked. Wait, did that not kill you? Hold up. Come here. <laughs> the sword. We now have a Morgan. I reject 
My humanity. If you get the reference, I'm sure everyone's going to be spamming. OMG, that's a JoJo reference! Yes, like they did last time in my my chant. It is it is a JoJo reference, I believe. So, as you see in front of me, there's a villager. Now, I'm going to capture this villager with a mob imprisonment tool. But keep in mind, I have disabled the easy villager mod. Um, the mod in here has a conflict. I did post a issue report over on uh, the all the mods um, to the sky issue tracker. If you don't know how to get to those um, and to report an issue yourself, you can just go to the Curse Forge page and there is a little button that says issue. You just click that. It'll take you to the GitHub where you can re you can report any problems that you have with the pack there. That is honestly one of the best places to report issues. Uh, but for the time being, I have removed that mod, even though I did have things in my world that was utilizing it. Um, I went ahead and removed it for the sake of this, because hopefully this gets fixed because I tried it multiple different ways. I tried using a, a swab on it to get a uh, mob spawner. Of course, I can go ahead and get that now and then still capture this guy who is switched over to the barrel it's barrel life for this guy. Um, but yeah, I was having some crashing issues. Um, this will not work with uh, that mod installed, the one that lets you shift right click to pick it up. Um, it'll end up breaking or crashing your world. So be weary when trying to do that because, yeah, I had to go into my forge.server settings and be able to fix my world because it, it was broken. Uh, but anyways, enough said with that. We are going to be spawning these in to be able to kill with this Morgan sword. I know that's absolutely ridiculous, but that's what we're doing. So if I place this in and turn this off, I don't want any villagers spawning just yet. Um, I'm going to go ahead and grab some slabs. And like I said, if if you skip this part, it's going to be very confusing for you when you see this going on and you're like, how come I can't capture this or my world crashed because of it? And you didn't listen to the part where I just said this. I, I don't have any other solution at the moment. I, mean, I got to get the video done. So right here, this is how you do this. Village, the villager should spawn inside of our mob duplicator once I turn it on anyways um, They should spawn right in here and Dark let's go ahead and put a dark hook. They do not spawn exact copies. So keep that in mind um, But I, they should be able to spawn right here and I should be able to stand right here and punch them with uh, with the sword or stand here and punch them with the sword um, I do need to get some enchants on this sword though. Okay run on pulse ignored. So they, they should spawn Spawn? There we go. And I can kill it. Okay. It says, how many... How many breads have you eaten in your life? That is another reference, if you didn't know. Uh, but yeah, they're going to stand in here, and we can get multiple kills on them. Um, and these kills are bringing up. See that our Morgan sword now has a damage of 13. Check this out. 13.2. Check this out. 13.4. But the only problem is, up in the top... Um, you can see each time we kill a villager, it starts to cost mana. So yes, this does cost mana, and it does use quite a bit of mana. So you need to make sure you have ways of generating or regening mana fairly quickly. Otherwise, this is going to work. Um, now, one way that I can get mana to, to gen fairly quickly is to just turn this off right here. I can just set this to pause. This will fill up. Um, and then it's only going to be attacking the, the, all the mob, all the mobs that build up in there, which allows me to hurt these guys even more. There we go. See, and my man is regenning. I think it takes, I think I had calculated it. It's like close to 500 for each kill. Even though like if you, um, uh, if you're out of mana, it's starting to start consuming from your attuned mana cells. Um, and we have this up to 16 right now. So that's pretty crazy. Now, um, the pedestal mod is what I wanted to check out because I thought I had seen or heard on the Discord of people using a pedestal to attack. Now, what's scary is I don't want it to attack me. Um, but I believe there is a way right here. Auto attacker. So, it's just basically a blank with a diamond sword. 
Okay, that's not super difficult. So we have the upgrade now. And we have the pedestal. Is it close enough to this? And will it will it upgrade? Oh, is it not close enough? Oh wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. This has to go in. Then I can put this in. What was it at? By the by the way, I can't get my let's see. I put the upgrade in my offhand. Oh wait, I have to punch to get the sword out, don't I? Okay. 16.6. Does is this working without using mana? That's what I want to know. 16.6. Because if that's the case, that'd be kind of crazy. Okay, so it is not. It is not doing what I thought it was going to do. Oh, bummer. Bummer. I was hoping that it would work, but it does not. Also, the durability is going to just completely get wrecked here. So yeah, I should be able to just manually kill them and make it go up. But yeah, it's something that's going to take a while, right? And it's just going to take time. So I know what would definitely help speed this up is a few more of these laid down. And that would definitely, I think, help with this situation. I believe it's two iron and emerald. Yes. Okay, and turn it on. And I just need to make a few more. <laughs> Just a few. Two iron emerald activate. Boom, look at that. Oh yeah, this is gonna be super powerful. So I may have decided to expand this a little bit to kind of speed things up. Um, the villagers, of course, they would start to cram. And if I expand it a little bit, they are not gonna cram as bad. And I can also get more bang for my buck, uh, which is kind of nice. Like four villagers are gonna spawn. However, I don't wanna attack them directly. Like I said, I wanna attack them from the side. That way I get that sweeping edge effect which is super nice. And look at that. I'm already at 220. Like, pretty crazy. Um, and I'm still using, like, my internal because that fills up so quickly. It's absolutely insane. Yeah. Those life drains, oh, they're powerful. Things may be a little loud. <laughs> Villagers may be a little cranky and crazy over here. My Also, my Mahoy, <laughs> my mana level is through the roof. We're at 25,000 capped at the moment. It's still going up. It will continue to also go up the more I use this. I did go ahead and set up a nice little Razer program. I, I've mentioned this before. I do have a Razer mouse, not that I'm sponsored by Razer, but they do have a really nice application called Synapse, and that allows me to basically replicate any click that I want. So all I did was I just created a program that simulates a right click and just created a loop. And now when I hit a button, as you can see, I'm not touching the mouse right now, but it is continuing to click. So all I gotta do is just stand here after activating that and just let it do its job. Our mana is able to regen fast enough to keep up with that. And look at our sword now. <laughs> yes, our sword is now over 1000, which is pretty crazy. Um, which seems to be like a pretty decent stopping point for for the moment. I'm going to stop this for the moment. Also, our mana, we need to stop it as well. I need to now activate this and set that to actually run. I'm going to remove my upgrades from here as well and get them transferred over. This is just whew, it's insane. Also, while that's running, like if when we go to fight a dragon, I'm probably going to leave this running in the mode that it is right now where I turn that off. And I have a absorption hopper running on this. And then the XP is going into this tank, like regular XP. I throw this on here. It should, for the most part, like kill these guys. I'm going to help it out. This will actually attack things through walls. Yeah, I know. Uh, it's uh, pretty crazy. It, it's actually really crazy. I don't even know. I, I can't even. We are just about like we are almost invincible. Like with that running, it not only feeds us, keeps us our, our saturation bar full, 
our hearts will also stay regent. Not to mention we have some really crazy armor on, but it, it's it's just super ridiculous. Like we should be just about ready to fight the dragon. The only thing I need is some Vorpal on this bad boy, and we're, we should be just about ready. So I haven't mentioned this, but if you want some like cool like astral projection things on your armor, it's actually not too difficult to do. Um, you just configure it here. As you can see, it looks like everything is nice and set up, and last time I played with this, it, it wasn't. But you can actually change things. So right-click on this by creating a uh, projector. And so, like, if you don't want that middle ring, you can get rid of it and just have this bottom ring. And you should be able to change the speed, this, the distance. So if we set this Y distance is a point 0.1, should get it lower to the ground, which is about on our foot level. And if I take my boots, I believe you right-click on it, it's going to add the projector to it. And now we have that projector projection on our feet. And we walk around, it's on us. And you can put this on any piece of armor. So like the last time I messed with it, I had a projection projection that was behind my back, which was kind of cool. You can also change the color of it. Um, like with these colors right here, you can mess around with like the blue, maybe add, I don't know, uh, let's do 180 there. And you can see the color has now shifted and changed. And yeah, there's, I believe there's or was support for custom models. I don't know if that's still the, uh, the same now. Um, but yeah, you can change the pitch, the yaw. You can make it do weird rotation stuff. There's all kinds of weird things you can do with this. But it is cool to apply to your armor. And it will stay. It will stay. It's kind of a nice thing to sort of have on you. I want to find a cool color and set mine to it. Maybe one to match my sword. This right here is pretty sick. This is going on my boots for sure. Look at that. Slap that bad boy on. That totally matches our sword. And if you want to know the settings for this, here are the settings. Well, guys, we now have this amazing sword. And, well, I think next episode we're going to work on enchanting it and trying to find some dragons. I really want to find a dragon and see if we're well fit for it. Um, I hope we are. If not, I mean, we're going to have to go back to the drawing boards and, of course, maybe change up some armor. But, but these things should totally keep us alive. Like They should, anyways. So... I do want to say a huge thanks, though, to the sponsor of today's video, and that is going to go to Noob Tob. Thank you so much for your amazing support. By the way, guys, do not forget, if you guys are a Patreon, you can be a patron of any tier. You guys do get access to the world download, so be sure to uh, go ahead and head over on Patreon or find it linked down in the description below and get your world download. It's uh, there's a lot of work going into these worlds and they're only going to get better as we go. Um, so guys, if you want to play around in this world, you can, or of course, can find that, like I said, link down in the description below. Guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, be sure to click that subscribe button if you haven't already. And also give this video a huge thumbs up. I really appreciate it. I'll see you guys in the next episode. And as always, of course, thanks for watching.